Javatva Sanskrit, Javatva means, the state of life or the state of the individual soul. Javatva is the state of life of the jiva transmigratory individual soul, the living entity, which is a particular manifestation of Atman, the embodied being limited to psycho-physical states, and the source of avidya that suffers repeated transmigration as result of its actions. Until ignorance ceases the jiva remains caught in experience of the results of actions bringing merit and demerit, and in the state of individuality Javatva, Brahma Sutra I IV.6, and so long as the connection with the intellect as conditioning adjunct lasts, so long the individuality and transmigration of soul lasts Brahma Sutra IE.30. Overview The Javatva Bhavana is the feeling of limitation induced by the body, mind and intellect. The nature of Javatva is adventitious, dependent on external factors. Javatva is accidental and not an essential nature of Brahman. It is illusorily superimposed on Brahman. The Atman is the witness Saxon of the activities of Antikarana inward intellect composed of buddhi intellect, ahankara I faculty and manas mind. Viraj has one jiva and Haranyagarbha another, because it is commonly known that when bodies are different the jivas are different, but it is possible to have one jiva for the past and future bodies, a difference in the bodies does not indicate difference in respect to the jiva. <laughs> jiva According to Dvaitadvaita dualism, Brahman and Jiva are different entities, that God, Soul and the Universe are three separate entities with the former governing the latter two. The Jiva individual soul that lives in the world is one of the three categories of realities, the other two being Jagat the universe or the world and Brahman the universal soul and the substratum behind the Jagat and the Jivas, the soul can migrate to the heaven and live with God. According to Vishishtadvaita qualified dualism, God alone exists who is formless. The jagat and the jivas form his body and the soul becomes liberated when it realizes that it is a part of God. According to Advaita Vedanta non-dualism, Brahman is the ultimate supreme soul reality beyond names and forms. Brahman, which is truth, consciousness and bliss, and the soul are non-different, identical, unchangeable and eternal. According to the Dvaita schools, jiva is essentially an eternal spiritual entity whose essence is constituted by knowledge as jnana svarupa it is a sentient being setna and self-revealing as the knower or subject of knowledge and as the agent of action it experiences both pleasure and pain It is monodic in character unlike Ishvara who is all-pervasive Jiva is a part of Paramatman, it is supported by, controlled and dependent on the Paramatman. It is the finite individual who experiences the waking jagarita, sleep svapna, and dreamless sleep sasupti, states of mind which can be successive, but rarely the fourth tariya, which is being in Brahman. On account of the adhyasa, jiva interacts with the objects and other jivas with a sense of doership etc., and experiences samsara, liberation from samsara is called moksha. Relation between Jiva and Brahman In the Katha Upanishad the Jiva, the individual soul, and Brahman, the universal soul, are regarded as being at par with each other as enjoying equally the fruits of their action. In the Mandaka Upanishad only the individual soul is described as tasting of the fruits of action, the universal soul described simply as the onlooker. In the Svetasvatra Upanishad the individual soul enjoys the unborn prakriti consisting of three qualities, which the universal soul leaves off. This is with regard to the relation of the two souls first dealt with by the Rig Veda in Mantra I 164.17 which reads, Deva suvarna seuha sakaya samanam verksam perai sasvahate teoranya pipalam svadvatyanasnanyo abhi kakasiti Two birds of beautiful plumage closely united in friendship reside on the same tree. One of them eats the sweet fruit thereof, the other witnesses without eating, and, adapting which ideation and imagery the sage of the Mandaka Upanishad proceeds to tell us that Samane verks puruso nimanyonasaya sokati muhayamana justam yada pasyatinyamisamasya mahamanamiti vitasoka being seated on the same tree, the purusha deluded grieves over his helplessness. 
But when he upholds the other worshipful Lord and his glory, he becomes free from grief. Jiva is limited by the inner sense organ, being limited it is distinct from the substratum consciousness of objects which is the all-pervasive consciousness Saksi. It always feels its distinction from God, because Brahman is not the object of ordinary knowledge. Jiva is the locus Asraya of avidya. The identification between jiva, a false entity, and Brahman, occurs only when the jiva aspect of the self is totally eliminated by true knowledge of the real nature of the self dispelling the primordial avidya. Svatantriyavada is the doctrine of the absolute sovereignty and freedom of the divine will to express and manifest itself in any way it likes. Svatantriya makes the movable and the immovable objects appear as separate though in essence they are not separate from samvit universal consciousness and which does not conceal the nature of the supreme. From the point of its manifestation, it is known as Abhasavada. Abhasavada is the theory of appearance, the creation theory of the Seva and the Sakta schools according to which theory the universe consists of appearances which are all real as the aspects of the ultimate reality, the world is an abhasa prakasa or light of Shiva, it is not Maya. In the Advaita Vedanta this is the theory according to which the jiva is the illusory appearance of Brahma consciousness. The theory of Abhasavada finds its roots in Brahma Sutra 2.ie.50 which reads, Abhasa eva ka and, the individual soul, is only a reflection of the supreme self. To be sure, this theory was advocated by Shursvara in which the jivas are as real as Brahman, they being primary appearances in and through avidya, while the objects of the world are unreal, they being secondary appearances, mere reflections of the primary appearances. The Vivarna school upholds the theory of Bimba Pratibhambhavada or theory of reflection, in which the absolute reality, reflected in Upadis, appears as numerous selves due to the intervening adjuncts and their cause avidya. The Bhamati school of Vikaspati Misra upholds the Avakedavada, the theory of limitation, in which the jivas are Brahman itself but appearing as though limited by adjuncts such as the mind-body complex. Significance According to Sankara, the Javatva of the Jiva is a consequence of the Jiva's false sense of identity i.e. oneness, with the body, making Jiva an empirical individual. The sense of bodied beinghood of the Jiva is entirely due to false conviction that the truly enlightened person is bodiless even when living in this life and in this body. Avidya or ignorance consists in the wrong identification of the self with the psycho-physical complex called the individual's body and in the development of the self-sense in the bodied being, this is the upadi cutting into the very nature of the jiva. The apparent modification is an epistemic fact, and the totality of cosmic plurality is also an epistemic fact. The apparently substantial javatva is an offshoot of avidya sustained and nourished by midhyanayana. Javatva, the phenomenal individuality, although beginning less, is terminable santa in the case of one getting release and gaining brahmatva. The javatva of the jiva is jiva's limitedness. The jivahood of the atman the individualization of the soul is unreal, it is merely an imagination caused by the delusion of buddhi, and vanishes with the annulment of the delusion that comes about by the realization of one's real nature. <laughs> 